So my name is Yolanda Hogin. I am a senior at Gila Ridge. Um, and this is my lesson planning and delivery of the arts competition. Uh, this lesson is on some basic things that every music student should know. Um, this is some basic music theory. So this right here is called the staff. Um, so the staff is a set of five lines and, and four spaces that holds the notes. So the note placement will tell you what a note is called. So you'll see this is a blank staff at the top right here. And then on the bottom right here, this is a set of staves. Um, and you see that it's in treble clef and in bass clef. You see that a lot in like piano music, choral music, and um, music for band. Right, I'm going to talk to you about time signatures and clefs. So this one on the top is called a treble clef. Treble clef holds higher notes. That's where a lot of uh, girls and guys with higher voice ranges sing. And bass clef is where a lot of the guys with the really deep voices sing. Um, a time signature tells us how what note will get the beat in the measure and how many beats per measure there are. So if you see all the way to the left in this first treble st staff, you see that it's in 4-4 four, four time. 4-4 four, four time means that the quarter note will get the beat and there will be four beats per measure. So these are the types of notes. So you have a 16th note, an eighth note, a quarter note, a half note, and a whole note. The more of the little flags you see, how the 16th note has those two flags, the more of those little flags, the smaller the note is. So you can get a 16th note, a 32nd note, a 64th note, it'll just keep getting smaller and smaller, and the smaller it gets, the more of those little flags it adds. So the 16th note is half of the length of the eighth note. The eighth note is half the length of the quarter note. The half note is half of the whole note, and the whole note is all four beats. And it's the same thing with the rests. So the rest is the break in the music. That's where you get your breath. That's where you get the pause in the music. And some ways to remember the half rest is the half rest is shaped like a hat. So half hat. And the whole rest is a hole in the staff. So that's how you remember Okay, those. so now here are some notes on the treble staff. So starting from the bottom to the top, you always start bottom to top. On the lines, we have E, G, B, D, and F. And in the spaces, you have F, a, C, E. So now here's a quick way to remember it. So if you take your hand and you hold it up, you have all of your fingers represent a line on the staff and the spaces between your fingers will represent the spaces. You remember from the bottom to the top, every good boy does fine. And for the spaces, you have F, A, C, E. And the way to remember that is F, A, C, E spells out face and face rhymes with space. Now, we have your three basic building blocks of music. So you have a harmony, a melody, or, and a rhythm. So harmony is multiple notes that are played together to make a new sound. The melody is the notes arranged into a musical phrase. So that's the part of the song that you're gonna remember. So for example, we have Mary Had a Little Lamb. The part that you remember of Mary Had a Little Lamb is the melody. So the Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. That's the melody, that's the part that you remember. The rhythm is the duration of each length of pitch. So those are the notes, the beats per minute. So you have Mary had a little lamb. Each of those claps is the rhythm. Um, and I didn't give you an example of harmony. So harmony, if you have just one note, it sounds like this. When you have a harmony, it's multiple notes playing together to make a chord. So it'll sound like this. So each of those notes individually makes their own sound. And together, they make a C major chord. So when you breathe, you're gonna, if you're sitting, you're gonna sit up nice and straight with your shoulders rolled back and your feet shoulder width apart. And you want your legs at the 90 degree angle. You wanna be able to breathe as deep as you can from your stomach. You're gonna use this thing in the middle. Let me stand up here so you can see it. You're gonna use this piece right here of your body. It's called your diaphragm. Now this is where you're gonna breathe from all the time. Whether you're singing, you're playing an instrument, it's going to be from here. So if you're sitting, sit up nice and straight so it opens up and you can breathe. When you're standing, you're going to be shoulder width apart. You're going to stand up straight with your hands at your sides and your shoulders rolled back. You want to so, breathe in as deep as you can. You should feel it in your stomach. Your stomach should grow. It shouldn't be in your shoulders. You shouldn't see your shoulders go up. It should be all in your stomach and you can feel it opening up.
You guys could finish up answering those questions for me and share that document with me. That is all I have for my lesson today. <laughs>